The space shuttle Columbia is speeding toward a nighttime touchdown. Commander Eileen Collins has already fired the shuttle's engines to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia is due to pass over New Orleans momentarily. Dan Simon is watching at the Louisiana Nature Center and joins us with a live update. Dan? Well, Angela, across the western skies in just the next few moments, we should begin seeing a big flash of light, and that flash of light is the space shuttle Columbia on its way back to Earth from a five-day mission into space. The shuttle is traveling at the speed of 9,000 miles per hour. We just saw that it was over Houston, Texas, and it should uh, be streaking over New Orleans momentarily. This was a very important mission for several reasons. Here's a little background on what was accomplished. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia. The launch was delayed twice until it finally got off the ground on Friday. A history-making blast-off as 42-year-old Eileen Collins became the first woman to command a mission. Houston, you are go at throttle up. Although NASA officials were concerned about a possible fuel leak and the malfunction of an engine computer system, the mission otherwise went as planned. Houston, we have a good deploy. Uh, Roger, good deploy. Thanks for the words, Eileen. Deployed was a $1.6 billion telescope to help decipher the mysteries of the universe. And that was no easy task because the crew had just one shot at launching it. Well, uh, this is uh, an example of how fast things happened uh, when you're going at the rate of 9,000 miles per hour. We just saw just for about five seconds the space shuttle streak over New Orleans and it should be landing uh, in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Uh, within the next few minutes, traveling at the speed of 9,000 miles per hour. It's 35 miles up into space. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get you some pictures later on in the newscast. Back to you, Angela. That'll be great. It was a perfectly clear night. Big yeah. full moon and very clear. Yeah. District of Trinidad going down. over 9,000 miles an hour. So Look at that. About 10,800 miles wow. per hour. Look at that. Eileen Collins, the uh, first woman to command a space shuttle, flying it, according to NASA, as it came in tonight. Very exciting. And, and uh, Dennis, you said she should be landing at... About 1025, 10 I think. Oh, 20, huh? 20, continuing in that, the second of four banks that performs it approaches. Can you imagine 9,000 miles an hour? <laughs> no, I can't. You think she was waving at New Orleans? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Getting ready to land. We yeah. were lucky it was a clear yeah. night, though. Very nice. Uh, the clouds moved to our west with all the rain that came in during the afternoon hour, so things did look pretty nice. Well, the shuttle flyby will give anxious stargazers a real treat tonight. The shuttle is expected to soar over the metro area in just a few minutes, and people lined up early to catch a glimpse along the riverfront. These are binoculars to uh, watch the space shuttle as it comes in Columbia. I am so excited because this in my mind is what America is all about, being the best, being number one, being at the top of our game. <laughs> Very excited. Well, New Orleans has a strong connection with the space program. The external tank of the space shuttle is built just a few miles from the Louisiana Nature Center's planetarium, where some people have gathered for tonight's event. ABC 26's Rob Lowe is live at the Nature Center with much more. Rob? Liz, well, these workers have gathered here to witness what they think may be a piece of history that could be happening any minute over our skies, a rare nighttime landing of the space shuttle that goes right over New Orleans. Look at the plasma trail behind it, and it goes clear across the sky. If the weather cooperates, it should look like a falling star, only in this case, the bright tail stretches for thousands of miles. This home video was taken in 1996 by planetarium director Mark Trotter. So the astronauts I, I can look out the windows on the top of the shuttle and see this glow going by. The space shuttle will enter the Earth's atmosphere at Mach 25, 25 times the speed of sound. By the time it passes New Orleans, it'll slow down to a mere 9,000 miles an hour, but it's still visible 35 miles high in the sky due to the friction of re-entry. No, and there are actually people riding that ball of light going through the air. That's a uh, thrilling thought. Just imagine what it would be like to be inside that fireball. Eileen Collins doesn't have to. As the first woman in command of a space shuttle flight, she'll have a front row seat. Um, I wouldn't say I w was um, anything but really excited about the chance to land the space shuttle, and a night landing will be especially challenging, but I think we're, everybody's up to it. Once her crew cruises by New Orleans, they'll be just 14 minutes from the Kennedy Space Center and a piece of history. I think people are a bit nostalgic now, seeing the, uh, the, the 30th anniversary of the first moon landing and now the first uh, female shuttle commander. And uh, it opens, uh, especially the children's eyes, to the, the possibilities of the future. Andrew, you are now seeing a live shot of the Space Shuttle Columbia moving over New Orleans. It's amazing. So you might want to bend those curfew rules for your kids. 
let him go outside and take a quick gander because it's only going to last for another minute or two of brilliant orange lights going over the New Orleans sky tonight at 9,000 miles an hour, moving from east to west. And even if you don't see it, be listening for it about five minutes after this bright orange glow passes by, you will hear a sonic boom. Again, that sonic boom should go off in about five minutes after it passes by. Just a brilliant sight. Liz, back and to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Rob. Indeed, a rare night landing, landing site that we were just watching there. ABC 26 is Rob Lowe reporting live in eastern New Orleans. Out of 95 space shuttle missions, only 12 have made night landings, and only a handful have been visible from New Orleans.